Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to downgrade the iPod Touch first generation back to iPhone OS 1.1, its very first firmware. So, let's begin. Okay, so the iPod Touch downgrade process is really simple. So what you need to do is put the device into DFU mode, so I'll do this real quick. So it can recognize it in iTunes. One, two, three. So this is how you gotta restore. Uh, Okay, so once that is in DFU mode, I'll have the device sitting right here. Okay, let me just fix this up a little bit. Okay, I don't know why it's saying that. I don't know what it's doing. Alright, it's going to put it in a white screen, I guess. Okay, so after you put it in DFU mode, what you want to do is, on Windows, hold Shift and then right click so let me just do that real quick shift I mean left click I'm sorry okay so then you find the IPSW uh, there it is so it's gonna go through the downgrade process this should take about I'd say about five minutes at max so I'm gonna start a time lapse real quick oh wait maybe not yeah, I will. Okay. So it's going to prepare the iPod for restore. Now, here on the iPod, it's just spinning. That is perfectly normal. Now, it's going to restore the software. So once this is done, you don't have to go reactivate it somewhere else. It will automatically just activate it with this version of iTunes because it doesn't have any sort of like SIM card. So I'm going to go time lapse this real quick while this is restoring. Be right back. Okay, so it's about to be done restoring. So after this, it should this should, part should take a few minutes or quick. I don't really remember. But let me fix this tripod. Okay, so there's the iPod right there. It's verifying the iPod software. Now, since the iPhone 2G and the iPod Touch first generation, every single software is still signed from iPhone OS 1.0 all the way to iPhone OS 3.1.3. And on the iPod, same thing, 1.1 to 3.1.3. Um, I don't know why they still have it signed, but whatever it works so I'm not complaining so it's gonna be finished with this in just a few moments I think uh, yeah this is really simple uh, and if you haven't already uh, go subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and follow my Twitter links in the description as well as my Instagram if you want to go in there but yeah so we're just going to sit here and wait for another few seconds to see how long it will take for this to restore. Now, this should take just about five more minutes, so it's restoring the iPod firmware now, so that's good. Um, instead of it saying verifying. So, let's just give it a second. Okay, so it says, your iPod has been restored to factory settings, and it's restarting. Please leave the iPod Connect to... Okay, so this part right here is iTunes will take care of you with this, so I'm not going to press any buttons. See, both my hands are right here. So, give it a second to uh, connect. Make sure it's connected onto my virtual machine. Okay, there we go. So, now let's see. If we go to settings, general, about, so we can see right there, 1.1, 1 
Now this works on all model of iPod touches, so if you have a 8, 16, I think 32 gigabyte, I think they have 32 gigabytes for this device, but I'm not sure. It will work no matter what, so if you have any trouble, just comment down below, I'll try to help you, but I guess that's been my video, it was an easier video, but if you do enjoy it, please hit the like button, it really does show your support, you know, I continue doing videos like this, and yeah, that's going to be my video, so goodbye.